Hello there, it's Julie here as part of the Fairy Craft Festival and today I thought I would share with you how I created the fluffy effect on one of the gorgeous new stamps, Bijou. I'm going to start off with my tag and I'm going to use Versafine Claire in Nocturne to ink up my stamp. Now I'm going to place this about an inch up from the bottom, so two and a half centimetres roughly, and I'm going to stamp him quite centrally in my tag. And then going to sprinkle on my clear gloss in, clear gloss embossing powder tap off the excess and then I'm going to use my heat gun to emboss it Yeah. I'm then going to take one of the older stamps, Tree Branch, ink it up again with the Nocturne and then just work out where I want Bijou to sit on the branch. You won't just see his feet there. And then with russet orange in the elements and a damp paintbrush, I'm just going to colour up his feet. There you are. You can give a little bit to his beak, although that's not really necessary. Whilst his feet are drying, I'm going to take, move that out of the way, and take a piece of the Locta paper. I don't know if you've seen this, but it's the handmade paper. And it's really fibrous, which makes it perfect. What I'm about to do next. So I'm going to ink up Bijou again using the Nocturne. And stamp it onto the lock to paper. Apply some pressure. Lift it carefully. And you need that to dry before you do the next step. I'm just going to roughly cut around him or her and this looks brutal but I'm going to just snip and cut out where the eyes are does look a bit brutal but we don't want to cover up those nice shiny eyes that we've already stamped on the tag. Remove the beak I also don't need the feet but now what I'm going to do next is Use my paintbrush again, give it a nice rinse, and then just paint around the outside edge of the image. You can see the 
paper quickly sucks up the water and that makes it easy to be able to tear. So you want to pinch the edge of the stamped image and just gently pull and this eases the outside of the paper away and gives you a nice fibrous outside line. If it doesn't pull off easily, damp it again. Yeah. I'm then going to just ease a little bit out by his, where his feet were. I suppose you could really do this with a pair of tweezers, but fingers were invented first. There you are. Now I also want to just ease a little bit out from where his eyes are. Sorry, what should I do? Put it on a piece of paper. Now just paint around the socket. With a wet brush. As usual, I'm forgetting to speak. Oops. And then you come back in with your fingers and ease that away a little bit. Or you can also just fluff up the edge up with the pointy end of the needle. It flicks the fibres or splits the fibres a bit just by rubbing the needle around the wet area. Now you could at this point, you could add colour to the back of this, but I quite like it just as it is. So I'm going to come back in or come in with some wet glue. Actually, no, before I do that, I'm going to do a little bit of emboss, um, get the stencil in, sorry. So, going to place my stencil over and use violet chalk in the elements and add some colour just around the edge of my tag. I wanted and I might also just place a moon there since it's an owl place that one there and just with the last little bit of ink on the stencil brush I'm just going to flick in a little bit there you are and over so I'm going to just add a little bit of wet glue around the owl, around his eyes, and carefully 
place. Whoops. The paper over the top. There you go, it looks nice and fluffy. If you've got any stray fibres, you might just need to support the edge with your finger and ease them away. Now, because you... Um, sorry, I'm just going to use a paintbrush there because I can't see his beak just to move the fibres out a little bit from his feet. There you go. I think what I'm going to do is just use one of the new words which says hoot, ink it up with my black VersaVine Claire and just stamp it here. There we go. Then I'm going to come back in with some st stickles. Oh, this is so fluffy. Maybe I should let him dry a little bit. But so that you can see what I've done or what I'm doing, I'm just going to tap some stickles all over him or her. Just so it looks like the light from the moon is catching his feathers so i'm going to just add a little bit along the branch i love these stickles and there you go a bit on the top There we have one fluffy bijou. You could always go back in with some glossy accents on his eyes if you want him to be shinier. And there he is. One sparkly, rather fluffy bijou owl. Hope you enjoy the rest of the extravaganza.